In this real review, we're going to be taking a look at Spin for Cash launching today, March 14th, 2022 on Warrior Plus. Coming to you from Jason Fulton and Sean Ogendale. I did buy Spin for Cash and here is the congratulations and thank you page after you've made your great decision. Here's what you do. You can access the private Facebook group. You can access their world-class support team and then you can step three, access Spin for Cash. And this is what you'll get when you get inside the dashboard, you have an AI article generator, and we're gonna cover exactly what this does and what type of articles this Spin for Cash AI article generator and spinner produces. But let's go back to the sales page. Spin for Cash, spin your wheel of fortune. Every time we press spin on this new app, using our phone or computer, we make $65.30 over and over again, literally just one click for us to profit. No skills or experience needed, no waiting to get paid, no extra fees, no BS. Further on down the sales page, the more we spend, the more profits we make in just three steps. Step one, activate. Turn on spin for cash on your phone and or computer. No technical skills required. Step two, spin and upload. Each time we spin and upload an article or a piece of content, we get paid $65.30. Zero writing or editing skills required, just one click. Step three, get paid. We get paid by our PayPal or directly to our bank accounts. No expenses, so everything is pure profit. Typically, anytime you see step one, step two, and step three like this on any sales page for any product, app, or training, just simply close the browser because at that point, you've wasted enough time on the pursuit of this product because it's typically not going to help you make any money and it's just going to be a waste of your money and your time. But we're here and I purchased it, so let's see what we got. We have an article AI generator or an AI article generator. We can simply click here to generate an article. You may ask yourself, now that I've generated these articles, which we will take a look at the article and see the quality that it comes up with, what are we actually doing here? Well, inside the tutorials, they're going to explain exactly what Spend for Cash is. There is a 26 minute video here that is Spend for Cash main training. And what they're gonna do is walk you through the dashboard like I'm gonna show you, and they're gonna show you inside of the AI article generator. And then what they're gonna do is they're gonna move on to upload articles for cash and they're gonna start explaining what you have to do to actually upload and get your cash. And to see how you turn articles to cash by uploading articles, these are the websites that you are going to have to set up accounts and register to sell your articles on or to sell your article writing as a service. Scripted account, you're gonna to have to set up a scripted account by clicking here to log in. Then you're gonna to have to go through the process and they show you the process in the video where you have to submit an application. You have to fill out your information here and then you have to walk through the scripted process to set up an account before you ever start actually making any money. Of course, that's just one account. You also have a text broker account, a constant content account, a Fiverr account, an Upwork account, or a freelancer account. For example, to set up a Fiverr account, here you can see how you can become a seller by simply click on become a seller button. And then you can continue with Facebook, Google, or Apple, or you use your email address. And then you set up your Fiverr account to start selling your services. As you can see here, this is a growing freelance community. That means that you are selling your services. In this case, back inside the dashboard, articles that you generate using the AI article generator, which we're gonna take a look at that right now. Let's say you're going to sell articles about raising a puppy. Let's go with an article about how to potty train a puppy. Go ahead, select a niche. As you can see, technology, sports, shopping, recreation, pets, dogs, here is the niche. Then we'll enter a specific keyword. Here you're going to have to get the keywords from the people that hire you, or they're going to expect you to provide the keywords depending on the service that you're going to provide on one of these upload article for cash sites that you are now a freelancer on and you are now getting requirements from a customer and then generating this content and returning it to that customer in exchange for the money that they're paying for this service that again, you are providing on one of these websites. So as you can see, I'm gonna enter two keywords here, puppy training, puppy toilet training. And the issue here at this point is you're going to have to pick when you start selling these services, niches that you understand and you know about, so you can understand if the article that is going to be spun for us here in a second even makes any sense in this particular niche. We'll go ahead and just do 300 words, but you can go all the way up to 1,000 words and we will create and spin article now. 
Then here's the article that it generated. You can download it or you can view it. We'll go ahead and click view. How to potty train a puppy. Special tips geared especially to dog owners. When you own a dog, you have a ton of work on your hands from brushing their fur to feeding them. You need to keep on top of all their needs. That said, this article will teach you all about what it takes to keep your dog happy and healthy. Looking to subsidize health care for your dog if money is tight. Many local communities in cooperation with groups like the SPCA offer discounted services that have proven invaluable to dog owners. Again, where is the puppy? Consider puppy training classes for your young pet. Puppies are eager to learn and the class is a wonderful atmosphere to let them do so. Again, they have not really mentioned the heart of the problem, the title of the article. The next thing you need to understand is your article has to be unique. You are selling this as something that you wrote and the people that buy it are going to use a service like Copyscape because they're going to want to make sure that the article has actually been written by you and hasn't been plagiarized. This is the URL that we got from Spend for Cash where our article is located. So we can search for copies of your page on the web. We'll simply click go. Here you can see 10 results found for how to potty train a puppy. As you can see, if you were to read this, look into subsidized healthcare for your dog if money is tight. Many local communities in cooperation with groups like the SPCA offer discounted services. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the article that we had here. I'm gonna control F to find. And you can see that is word for word in that sentence, in that paragraph. And that was just one of 10 that this found on the internet using Copyscape. So that was our first attempt at an article using Spend for Cash. And as you can see, this is basically just pulling from the internet. There is no AI involved here. It's simply just going out to the internet, finding things around the keywords, taking those and compiling them into articles that then you are supposed to be able to sell. Again, where you can upload your articles for cash on scripted account, text broker account, constant content account, Fiverr account, Upwork account, freelancer account. These are all sites where you sell your services. In this case, writing articles for these specific niches and providing unique content to the customers that you're going to be building or the customer base that you're going to be building as a freelancer utilizing these websites to sell your services. So back to the sales page, step one, step two, step three, activate, spend and upload and get paid. Obviously, without going much further into the details here on Spend for Cash and looking at all the promises that they're offering here, like next to the video sales letter, 24-7 profits were making money day and night with Spend for Cash. Just press Spend. Spend for Cash makes us money nonstop. But here is the kicker. We use other people's content to earn with. That is not 100% legal and is not 100% ethical in any form, shape, or fashion. If you are going to waste your time and your money taking a look further at Spend for Cash, when you're on the sales page, exit off the page. Wait for the $2 coupon so you don't pay $19 for this. Get it for $17. But I will remind you that the article that was generated for us inside of Copyscape shows that it is definitely duplicate content that's already on the internet. And they claim right here on the sales page, we use other people's content to earn with they say that that's 100% legal and ethical. I'm here to tell you it is neither. Now here's something else to consider once you're inside here. If you are to purchase spend for cash, you will be entered into a sales funnel, which will have upsells and downsells. I'll go ahead and explain that a little bit to you here in the first upsell. This is the page you'll be presented after your purchase. Congratulations on your purchase of spend for cash. Your order is not done yet. Do not close. Wait, your order is not complete. Want to receive unlimited $97 payments with just one click. Now they're making $97 payments versus the $65.30 that they are claiming to make over and over again, literally with just one click. And they continue to say that now you can get the unlimited version of Spend for Cash, which they never mentioned a limit on the number of articles that you could spend, but apparently there is a limit. Remove all limits, make the most out of Spend for Cash. Further down the sales page, what if you could activate unlimited Spend for Cash payments instead of only 12? So instead of being limited to just 12 Spend for Cash payments, payments meaning articles or the number of times you can actually use the spinner to run your business as a freelancer now, generating this content for your customers, you are going to have to upgrade and this upgrade is going to cost you. It is going to cost you $47. Then there's going to be another upsell for $297. Then there's going to be another upsell, $47, $97, $147. And it continues. 
OTO6, which is the sixth upsell, $47, $197.97 when you get to OTO or upsell number eight, and then the final upsell, which is $37. I suggest you pull out a calculator real quick, add those up, and see how much money you could possibly spend on getting everything that they have for sale when you buy the front end of Spend for Cash. Which again, if you go back inside the dashboard and you were to view this and actually read it, it is a very high level generic article that no one is going to ever pay you any money for when you start selling services over at sites like Fiverr or the other sites that they are now telling you you have to go create accounts on and actually become a freelancer and sell your services as a writer. Because at the end of the day, the article doesn't even pass Copyscape. So if someone purchases this from you, you are going to have to heavily edit it to make sure that it first passes Copyscape plagiarism check and second, that when you read the article, you actually understand and know that this article is actually telling someone what they need to know about how to potty train a puppy. So in my opinion, spend for cash is definitely a waste of your time and your money. If you want to become a freelancer, explore that option about how to make money online by becoming a true freelancer and providing services that you're capable of doing, not services that you think come from spinning or pushing a button or stealing someone else's hard work on the internet. At the end of the day, providing a service as a freelancer is about doing the work that you are selling and making sure that it's a quality product that you are selling so you can actually continue to do the work and continue to grow that business as a freelancer. So again, spend for cash. I'm going to tell you to pass on this one because you are definitely going to waste your money and it's going to be a waste of your time if you are looking to get in the freelancing business. Now, my recommendation for getting started online and making money online as a side hustle or building a real online business is to start with affiliate marketing. There is a link in the description in the pin first comment for some free affiliate marketing training. Also, there is a link there to buy me a cup of coffee. If this video was valuable to you, I'd appreciate you taking a look at that. Also, go ahead and hit the like button. That helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. And with that, we'll see you in the next video.